uh, basically build cars and drift them and show you guys what I'm doing along the way, but should be pretty sick. I got some decent stuff running right now. I'll show you what I'm got going. She's pretty nice. Just Lever 3236. Um, she's my daily. Got a bunch of shit in the back. Got fuel settled. Got fuel pressure. I mean, uh, fucking uh, fuel pump. My gauges. Oh wait, there's no battery. Uh, heater core. It's messy in there right now. Um, and this is my little drift build that I'm getting set up. I've been drifting out a little bit already on open diff. But I kind of like feel like I reached the max I could do with it. So now I'm going to pull the diff out, weld it up, did a bed cut out. Still a lot more that needs to be done, but it's a start. Um, when I got this thing, timing sounded like terrible. So I did a timing chain and sounded a lot better. Made the engine look a little better while I was at it. Um, this is my old drift truck. I blew it up. I haven't taken it apart yet, but so I don't know like exactly what's going on, but I know that something got chewed. But anyways, I'm gonna try to capture as much as I can. Let me pull on this diff. It's something pretty basic, so if I miss a little bit or all of it, then yeah, it's not that part of a thing. So anyways, I'm gonna get to it. by jacking the car up. And this is all being done with my iPhones for now until I can afford to get some better shit. It's pain in the ass when you're jacking something up when it's on. truck ready for the track try to meet all the qualifications get simple things ready I'm just trying to get like my diff swapped over because I just blew this diff it was open I was gonna pull it to weld it but uh fucking the pinion gear and shit was all blown on it so or whatever the gear is I don't know yeah, I'll show you real quick yeah, so usually from what I've seen when diffs blow, it's usually the fucking spider gears. But with my case, it ended up being that pinion gear down there. The spider gears are perfectly intact. I'm going to try to rebuild this diff. We'll see how that goes, but I'm not sure. Yeah, on what I'm gonna do with it, whether I'm just gonna throw it away or rebuild it, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm out here in Nova Storm because I have about two or three weeks to get it ready for the track. So yeah, that's why I'm pulling my diff in the middle of a storm. You're <laughs> not much left to go though. She's pretty damn ready. Pretty decent little build so far. I mean, she needs to go a bit lower. But I like the things I got. I've uh, been cut out. But then, yeah. Inside's pretty stock. 
just basic shit, bench seat still. I need to hook up my seat belts. Get all my bolts in my seat. Put my battery stop down and I'll be good. Hey, so this is me again. Uh, I swapped out the diff from the 87. So the thing is with these diffs is they're shorter because this right here adds about a half inch. So when you go to install an older um, diff on one of these 97 D21 pickups, it's not gonna really work unless you have the drive line too. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to swap over the drive line and it should work just fine. But I thought I should note this because when I was like looking online if I could even swap these out, um, no one even mentioned that. So yeah, so if you are planning to swap an older Nissan D21 diff into a newer one, um, and yeah, it's gonna be about a half inch off, so you're gonna wanna swap over the drive lines too. Cause yeah, see. So, but yeah, but it's almost done. She's about to have a bolt of diff. We'll see how that goes. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm all done now. So, got the whole di um, 87 D21 drive line on the 97 with the 87 diff all the everything's all good it's full um, I guess I'm just gonna go test it out now see just how she rips uh, we'll see
wants to scare.